Doctor publicly humiliates black nurse, not knowing she's a medical director. In a world where power can blind the arrogant, one moment of humiliation will reveal a truth that no one saw coming, and it will change everything. The story begins in a large, bustling hospital. Dr. Michael Carter, a famous but arrogant surgeon known for his brilliance in the operating room but his cold, dismissive attitude toward his colleagues, storms into a busy corridor. He singles out Nurse Maya Davis, a black nurse who has worked in the hospital for years, belittling her in front of the entire medical team. He questions her competence, implying that she's not fit to be part of his surgical team and makes veiled, racist remarks about her background. The other staff members exchange uncomfortable glances but remain silent, too afraid to intervene. Maya, visibly upset but holding back tears, listens to Dr. Carter's tirade. She simply says, you don't know me, Dr. Carter. But you will. Maya walks away without another word, leaving Dr. Carter and the rest of the staff in shocked silence. They have no idea who Maya is, and that truth is about to hit them hard. In the halls of power, those you underestimate may be the very ones holding your fate in their hands. The following day, Dr. Carter is called into a meeting by the hospital's board of directors. He's unaware of the reason but assumes it's related to an upcoming high-profile surgery. As he enters the boardroom, he freezes. Seated at the head of the table is none other than Maya Davis. The room is filled with tension as one of the board members stands and formally introduces her, Dr. Maya Davis, our newly appointed medical director. Dr. Carter's face turns pale. He stammers, trying to grasp the situation. Maya remains calm, her composure unshaken. She looks directly at him and says, I think we need to discuss your behavior, Dr. Carter. This is not how we treat our staff. Dr. Carter, now visibly shaken, sits down as Dr. Davis begins to explain her new role and the changes she will bring to the hospital. He is no longer in control, and the power dynamics have shifted dramatically. True leadership isn't about titles or status, it's about respect. And those who fail to give it will find themselves at the mercy of those they once looked down on. Dr. Davis addresses the entire staff in a formal meeting. She shares her personal story, how she worked her way up from a nurse to becoming a medical director, a path filled with challenges and systemic racism. She emphasizes the need for respect, diversity, and equality in the workplace, reminding everyone that no one should be judged by their appearance or background. Dr. Carter, now sitting in the audience, listens in silence. He is later informed that he will be demoted and required to undergo mandatory sensitivity and leadership training. Dr. Davis's journey and leadership inspire the staff, and a cultural shift begins in the hospital. Staff members who had once been silent in the face of discrimination now feel empowered to stand up for themselves and others. As Dr. Davis walks through the hospital, she is met with smiles and respect from all corners. The camera captures her as she confidently strides past Dr. Carter, who watches her with a humbled expression. Tell us in the comments, what would you have done in Nurse Johnson's place?